Hey guys, welcome. It's me, Lucas Green, and I'm back here with none other than the man, the myth, the legend. Hi, I'm Adam Burns. I was here on the beta test yesterday, and now we're doing the commentary of Scooby doing the cyber chase. No spoilers, please. That'll be fun. Yeah, we did uh, a video yesterday of this saying that we were going to do it. And here it is, 1500 hours, UK time, if you've kept an eye on that video. And uh, here we are, our movies are set up. So if you want to watch this with us, uh, that you can find no, spoil no spoilers in the comments. Yes, we have seen this movie before, but and for those who haven't, we don't want to spoil it for them, of course. Um, to be fair though, at the end of this movie, we will know who did it. So at a certain point, if you want to leave, you should, basically. So when we set this, no spoilers in it, this kind of not and kind of is, ain't that? Yeah, there is a few spoilers. But when we the... get to it. But yeah, we, oh, oh, we've only got two views in there. Awesome stuff. Welcome. Uh, so yeah, if you want to watch this movie with us, uh, or if you don't have the movie, or if you do, uh, I would suggest get grab your DVD or Blu-ray, or if you're watching online, Make sure you get to the uh, timestamp zero if you have it watching it online, DVD player or Blu-ray player. Or if you have it on your console, make sure to get past the menu and put it on until the screen, like rewind it a bit. But you press play on the menu, then pause and rewind it a few seconds back so it's all black. And that's where we're at. So that's where you want to be, okay? All right then. With okay. that being said, I think we're all ready. Are you ready, Adam? Uh, I am ready, so that would be. Yeah, ready. and remember, guys, uh, if you are uh, not going to watch the movie with us, the uh, you know DVD or Blu-ray or whatever you're going to use, you can. You don't need to uh, have the movie to watch, enjoy it with us. You can just listen to the commentary, and we'll provide as much dialogue as possible to explain what's going on throughout the movie. So, with that being said, I think we're all ready for this. Are you ready for this, Adam? Yes, I am. I don't know if my okay, headphones are <laughs> When I get the word, we will begin. Everyone, please press play right now. There's the bubbles. Yep. Anna Barbera, you see it? Yep, Barbera for once. And Warner Brothers, so, yep. Ah, uh, yes. My headphones are useless, so. And there he is, Professor Kaufman. Yeah, the one guy we couldn't remember the name of when talking about it. I like how this film opens up. It's it's probably the most ominous of the four Scooby Doo movies, because the other ones open up with like a chase sequence, don't they? Well, this kind of doesn't. It's very ominous. Well, I, well, I didn't say this yesterday, but um, when I have Alien Invaders, I only have the like I miss like the first first minutes. So I don't know if I have a chase scene. That wasn't a chase there. It was just that they were sleeping and there was a ship there. This one's just so ominous, like... Ooh, I like that we see all the sea... As the professor's walking, we see all the environments which the gang are going to go through. Like, yeah. in not in the game, but in the lab. Yeah. That's a nice detail there. What two guys work in the dark, though? What in the working place? That's another thing. There's no... It's very late at night for this. Yeah. Like they are working very hard for that price man for the laser. Oh, this is it. The laser's gonna get fired. Who turned on the laser? Not me. <laughs> and now, ladies and gentlemen, we're introduced to everyone's favourite character throughout the movie. Well, yeah. Great voice acting. Of not course the laser's not working. There he is! Smile! <laughs> uh. This is gonna be fun, eh? Mm. How would he? How would the professor know? <laughs> how would the students know, though? What oh, the data of that of the computers? So what's happening is the virus has appeared and he's absorbing all the data. Yeah, what's the security gonna do? Oh, I think we don't believe you. I remember one time. Um, Adam says he would just wouldn't buy it, and I would just leave his ask. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, we like shows. Now we have a just... close up on the chin and fade out. Yeah, I thought just I thought just occurred to me though, 
if the memory from the computers have been taken, how can they still play the game? What? In like the, the game? What about the game? Like the actual proper game that they created. How can they, like, play it when uh, I can't focus when this is played? <laughs> Neither can I! Oh. It's alright, you're doing fine, man. Mind you. Ah, oh, it's like Star Fox, the game. I was thinking more along the lines of Galaga, but okay. I don't get that at all. The whole game makes no sense. They don't go on adventure quests, they go on mysteries. The game isn't nothing like any of that. It really is. I mean, they say the game is a mystery in cyberspace. It's not like that at all, actually. It's they just spawn, a fetch quest. Yeah, they spawn nearby the Scooby Snacks, so, so... Oh, here we go. More awesome characters are introduced. <sighs> I thought you into this university, you would probably want to avoid the police. Yeah. <sighs> Best guy ever. Really? That's a, that's a phantom virus, it's clearly best than him. It's interesting that he vo he also voices uh, Sylvester and Daffy and all the Looney Tunes. Really? Cool. Yeah, he does! Great. I believe he voices the Grandpa and Rugrats as well. Oh, okay. Punks, people. So we've got Officer Wimbley here, showing how awesome he is. Yeah, take that to note. And we've got Scooby-Doo just, um, mocking around. Mocking the police. Oh. I want him. Oh, wow. He just owned him. Call him Doggo. Everyone loves the word Doggo. Uh, I like that. I know he's an arsehole, but he still helps out, even if he doesn't like Minnick. Yeah. Dog's off the press, douche. What oh, yeah. What dog? There's that hat position to work. So we're in the lab now? Yep, we are now in the lab. Big tomatoes. Grown in radioactive soil. Mm. This movie goes by so fast. Bill has just been introduced and I just realised he has an orange hair. If it goes so fast, you figured they would have more time for levels, but they don't. Oh, such an ominous entrance. Ah. They don't like sunglasses, I just realised. Hmm. Professor Coughlin's glasses are like sunglasses. Yes, they do, don't they? Call the government! They've made an experiment laser! That can sap stuff into and out of cyberspace. Oh yeah, we've got that Officer Wimbley spying on the background there. Very creepy, isn't it? A monster? I like how it shows that Shaggy was running the way with Scooby, but Shaggy just spawned kind of right in front of the others. Mm -hmm. Where did it come from? That was a fast timing, wasn't it? Yeah. For him. Of course you didn't. That's what you would say if you did do it. You sabotaged your own game. Oh, this is all my favourite lines. Yeah, so he just said that it's a threat to the entire world because our civilization is dependent on technology. 
The mm. one thing that Loch Ness Monster isn't a threat to. It's true, isn't it? Because our civil nowadays our civilization is dependent on technology. We can't do anything about it. We're useless. Yeah, yeah. And going further into the future, we're even more dependent on it. So what they said, don't start the game. I'm guessing they think the virus came out of there. Yeah, but it came out of clearly nowhere, of the laser. Yeah, the laser. Are you sure? How can you be sure? Never mind, what's distracted? And first we're introduced to Bill's favorite sport. Baseball. Ugh. We don't we haven't got time for baseball. We're trying to focus on a mystery now, okay? okay? What a waste of time. That's not gonna amount to anything at all. No more baseball. I don't get this. Battle monsters and villains? It's a mystery, not a massacre. <laughs> Oh, how nice of um, Zombie Islands. Oh, the way you describe it to me. Yeah, yeah, but you have to watch it to find out. Yeah, yeah. And thus, radioactive... It's an experiment laser, it works! Sell it to the press! <laughs> Digital Scooby Snacks, coming to cinema. Why stare at the food when you can have it on display? Mm, that's a good point. Quarter million grand prize, guys. That's not really much for an experimental laser. How much would you say then for the laser? Huh? How much would you say should be given as well, a more than quarter of a million? It's not. It, it seems more powerful than that. Yeah. I think quarter million maybe for like maybe a demo of a game just to create it or something. I should mention right now that we've been introduced to all of our suspects on our list. Kauf, uh, the Professor Kaufman, uh, Eric Stopper, Bill McNamoy, his partner, and uh, Officer Wimbley, the security. So yeah, that's an awesome setup. Yeah. I blame Fred. Fred is clearly behind all this. Look at the colour of his shirt. Mm. We get it. You can hack Fortnite. <gasps> it makes all sense now. That's how you beat it. That's how you beat Fortnite. Now we get the flashback on how he stopped the virus. Throws mm -hmm. the stapler first. Yeah, I told you it was a stapler. What's that going to be? Is it a staple gun? Where's the Yu-Gi-Oh reference? I held up a magnetic bow in defense. What? And, there's a and thus the magnets are weak to uh, viruses. Kryptonite versus Superman. Yeah, I tried that magnet to a virus out of my computer once. It did not work. It just ruined my computer. Hmm. The security wouldn't believe you. That's why. <laughs> Or maybe off, maybe Officer Wimbley might believe him because he might. Have if I was the virus, I would leave the lab and roam free. And instead of just torment these few people, because the virus seems to be his own entity. So yeah, we've got the typical dialogue. Scooby and Shaggy refuse to do something. Said Scooby Snack involved. Scooby Snack. Okay, they give him two Scooby Snacks just to chase a bloody virus. Why? Why? There's also... Apparently... There's also... Yes. Another Sporty Games reference. If I can't remember which one. But go along! Probably. Ah, the irony. The irony, huh? Yep. Because the legend has... And Bossy, oh my god, if he had a bag, if he had a drawer full of magnets, why didn't he use those earlier? 
Also, how did the virus get close to that drawer without being affected by it? Maybe because it has to be outside the... Well, later in the movie, I'm not going to say, there's going to be a point where it's going to be stuffed somewhere else. You know what I mean? Yeah. So that's going to be a questionable too. Yeah, you can count on these average teenage heroes to save the day because they're your friends. Well, here's one of the uh, cool lines coming up here. You split up. And then they do this. <laughs> what was on out of here? Like, we do, we do, we ever do any other way. <laughs> no, no. Okay. So we've got the gang swinging up now. Okay, and we've got the trio man. in the basement. Yeah. Fred is clearly the la ladies' man. Well, thanks, Fred. You put the manga down, and then this. He's right there! How do you see him? He just shows up like Batman. Yeah. And also, how did the virus not see the magnet right there? I don't know. And then he takes a step on it. I'm sure he's fine. Ooh, uh... Duh! Should I have add duh to that? Thingy! Ugh. Is he thingy? You pay for this! Thingy. Thingy! <laughs> <laughs> That's it, limp away! More running! Yeah. If, they, if he was slipping away, how did he manage to get away, anyway? God knows. Also, Apparently the leg goes off here. Yeah, also some of the characters that were seen in this cafeteria, <laughs> I think I saw so, them in another... what we've got here is, typical Shaggy and Scooby do not follow the mystery and decide to have a snack. Jesus Christ. How come he's so skinny after all this food? He must be that age where the food doesn't really go straight to your hips. Yeah. Ah. It's Grand Wars. It's, it's Chris Kringle himself. How did the hat get made, though? So? Ah. I like this part where Fred tries to be a badass and it fails. I'm going to do this awesome stealth move. What the hell? All of them do it. Not gonna work. It never works for you, Fred. Yeah, the magnets are never gonna work for a police officer anyway, so we'll put them away. Of course, they didn't believe it. I knew the officer would believe him. Yeah, he, he thinks like you, Adam. He believes it's it's all fake too. <laughs> and thus, we're heading back to the laboratory. But first, let's take a detour to the cafeteria. Oh, here's the face coming up, guys. They're in the cafeteria, so we know it's coming up. Adam knows what's coming. It's that face where it looks like it's past gas. Yeah. There it is! <laughs> I got the description of it when I first found out that what the reference was in Series 2, the Linksy series. I was like, really? Watch the movie. Oh my god, it actually does. Throughout this entire lab sequence, all the virus does is make typical dialogue. Oh, here's the new favorite joke coming up. Adam loves this part. <sighs> the therapy thing. Yeah. They're in the. So Scooby and Shaggy are in the therapy room, but doing the therapy thing. And this is. They can attach some wires. This is. Yeah, yeah. It makes no problem. sense. This is it makes no sense because he's electric. Ideal club sandwich. Uh, Thumbs up. The answer is never, never enough. <laughs> Let's try one more. When's the best time to have a milkshake with your French fries? Uh, uh, Thumbs up. Anytime. Anytime. <laughs> you love that part of it. Oh yeah. Why does it affect him at all? And here's the theme song. Doobie, doobie, doobie. What, what do you think of it? 
It's a kind of a remixed version of it. I don't know. It says. It's a. It's pretty good. How can animals have dirty footprints when they've been in cages pretty much all their lives? Yeah, I have no idea. There's the chemistry lab. Are he affects by that. This is why I don't get the virus is in a lab full of technology and he does nothing with it. Why? What is wrong with him? Puny. There's the whole thing. Oh god, puny virus. <laughs> That's Before, a... I don't understand why the virus doesn't use his ability to his advantage. I get why he's in the lab because he has technology, but he does nothing with the technology. I don't understand how the virus changes color every now and then. Yeah, I mean, on the cover, he's white. In this movie, he's blue. Any color is fine. Just stick with it. Yeah. Typical police sitting on their ass, shoving food down their throat. Oh, really? Oh, of course not. Oh, no, his food. Now, here's another thing. When you were seven years old, you never put together this sequence. They're running across the lab. That's a very big lab. In every direction. There's the virus. There's Scooby. There's Velma. They're running. There's Fred. There's Daffy. There's Shaggy. Velma. And this is the problem I don't get when Adam was seven years old. This. A shadow with a lab coat. And he thinks it's someone else. I didn't think it's the lab coat, okay? I didn't notice the lab coat. Well, now you did. But now the one, level one. You only saw one beam, but the virus is got in the game too. How? What? Mm. Yeah, oh, man. has it been fired? I have never guessed. My headphones are completely useless today. Like that's gonna work. Yeah, but they managed to work it well with the Scooby Snacks. Continuity error. Yep. Angel will be in there. Very real. Danger. Wait, how, how did Phil get access to the game? Plot twists every turn, I know. Right? It's super shaggy. <laughs> Okay, I felt I felt that sound effect in my uh, headphones. <laughs> it's like, <sighs> what do you think of the moon level? Uh, I don't get it either. So they've never been in space before. Ooh, how does this have to do with anything with the game? Oof. Not even a mystery. Yeah, but then this one sets even more in the past with the um, Roman Colosseum and further back with the prehistoric level. There's a continuity here right there. Uh, Shaggy's gloves were white in that part. And then it's grey. Sure I'm pretty sure there's only one um, level. There's actually more. Doits! I know who! Then we get the virus's first pun ever. Do you remember what it was? Let's play ball. He's not alone! Let's play ball. Right. Oh. Like, let's not. I guess the virus like playing ball. That's not amounting to anything. Hmm. I'm so cringe at myself that I didn't recognize who the real bad guy is. Maybe if we discover who the virus person is, we can figure out stuff. Really? You butchered that line. Whatever. Tried your best, but you failed. You know what that's that was. That sounded like Daphne's voice from Velma right there. Yeah, well, that was easy. Look how easy it is. It's just right over there. Oh, oh is it Shay? Have we learned the virus can fly or hover? Hmm. They get a moon rover. And they're going to use it to race and get the Scooby Snacks to transport them to another level. Genius! Problem is, though, it's really slow. 
<laughs> they might as well push. Hmm. Of course, the bad guys have a set of wheels. And of course, the virus has to laugh because we have to have him laugh. And as stupid as the villain is, he will be remembered. And you can choose this. Let's go GTA. And thus, Grand Theft Auto was born. How's the flag not moving? Oh, the power of hunger compels you! Of course. And then they get flown into a crater. Woohoo! That happened. You're out! Stop that dog! Oh! Heads up! Smashing. Oof. I like this music. Dun, 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 dun. It's like, happy <laughs> win! Oh, I thought that would be a Zelda reference. Na, 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 na. Oh no, Scooby. Level 2. At least it's exciting. Even though no matter how many times you watch it, it's very exciting while you're watching it. Yeah, it is. I think that might be my favourite part, maybe. The transition <laughs> level. You're gonna get off references to the Linksy series, right? Yeah. Good times. Ah, good times. Oh, yeah. Here we are in Rome. Oh, a Colosseum in the middle of nowhere. We've never seen the outside of the Colosseum. So the gang are in Rome, guys, and a uh, deserted place. But where are the Scooby Snacks? Who knows? Where's the Scooby Snacks? Where's the fat virus? And, well. White lines. What are these white lines on the ground for? They look like a big square. What's about the little parts in the corner? In the corners of the square, the diamond. <laughs> when things get a little tougher, but first, let me introduce you to the home team. <laughs> I think someone's having a bit of fun with this. Ah, I think right. the virus is having too much fun. Home team, huh? It's not over yet, is it? Nope. No. Together now? Yep. Three, two, one. And, and now, now for the home <laughs> team mascot! The lion's got the Scooby Snacks. That's the hive my voice ever went and never will. Wow. Thanks. And then the lion drops it. Why didn't you just leave it in your mouth? That'd be easier. Yeah. Running away. That's a lot of running, baby. Woohoo! Woohoo! Like you said, running. Oh man. I would have I would have just left him. Screw that. Wow, you're so nice, aren't you? <laughs> now you get to tangled that, I leave him. That's what I do. It's a chariot. Good. Not Shaggy is now on chariot mode. Apparently, Scooby Doo's running is able to outrun the skeletons. Yeah, but <laughs> Scooby Doo is very slow, apparently, to the skeletons. You just need some motivation. Yeah. If only he could have some Scooby snacks so I can go faster. Oh, wait, I know where they are. In the middle of the. <laughs> yes, I need your jacket, woman. Definitely a ladies' man. I don't get this. There's red banners in the air. You just pull that off. Why not get the red banners? That's red. Toro is a bull. Yeah. Toro, bull, Leo, lion. Yeah, that, that's how you get some over. Ole! This is not Italy, is it? <laughs> Isn't it Greece? Uh, yeah. I thought... No, no, so no. it's not... Uh, I thought it was Spanish. Huh. And they throw the line back into his catacomb cage. I don't know what it is. Uh, confined space. Hmm. This is the closest thing to shipping you're ever gonna get, people. Yeah, that's the closest thing you're ever gonna get. 
Let's see if we get some. Nice Sorry. Well, that's what typical teenagers do. They get distracted. <laughs> uh, I love it. Hold on. And is they're Shaggy, all unwounded. Is Shaggy was tangled up when the net was thrown onto him. How did he just unroll out? I have, he, he was too chicken to do that. Okay. Throughout this entire movie, there'll be something stuck there. Mm -hmm. Don't it can't be that far behind. You can't be taking like a few minutes or anything. Yes, leave them up into the stands. Yeah, but that well, they ain't got the next. What well, if they yell? It gets in funny in a minute. Yeah! <laughs> more, um, more lines for you to use in Link's series. Yeah, great. So they pop. <laughs> It's copy me do. You can just climb up there too as well. Now it's time for a random dress roll. All hail! Yeah. Emperor Scooby, of course. They're buying this. I wouldn't buy it. Until this happens. Honestly, I... Why doesn't the virus stop them from getting the snacks? That's my question. Yeah, that's a good question. Where did he go? Yeah, the virus just let them get it. Could have helped. Yep, now on to level three. Great thing to your favorite level, I think, besides oh, the favorite. final. Uh, my second favorite level was actually um, uh, the Roman Colosseum one. So, prehistoric jungle. But now Welcome know. to the jungle! They've got fun and games! <laughs> <laughs> do pterodactyls have tails? I don't think so. Uh, they do, but they should be very small. Well, some of them. Some of them have small tails, others have long tails. So, there's a... Uh, oh, yes, Brontosaurus? Oh, I did I want to pass a second. A pun. Oh, no. How's this for a heavy hitter? Are you, uh, yeah, thank you, movie. I get it. I know you're trying to tell me, movie. I get it. You know, I generally thought it was Gigantosaurus, really. Oh, so sarcastic. Yeah, thank you, Hans. And now we get, this is a nice little scene because it shows how dangerous the virus is when he's going to throw a spear. He should be in the oh, that's like that's part three there. I didn't realize that reference. Yeah. He, he there was a Jurassic Park three reference there. Oh yeah, it was. Same as a bad film though, Jurassic Park three. Who knows? Could be <laughs> anyone. Even someone in this very room. I like how Professor Kaufman and Bill have, and oh, and Officer Wimbley have black eyebrows but different color hair. Eric's own mm. normal kid. Wow. Normal. Wow. So there was a reference back there of Jurassic Park where, like, if you've seen Jurassic Park 3, it's like the Spinosaurus is trying to get to the trees and he's not able to. He's like the T-Rex there. That was cool. I know, that's a hint to where the Scooby Snacks are. So there's a volcano. So you gotta go and get that firewood because they saw a clue of a volcano. Mm -hmm. If you see a volcano, it means get the firewood. What? Yep, so you can carry torches. Smoke? Let the trees burn. I don't know. Ugh. 
or you could just let them burn, like the Batman would say, or Alfred. And where's the firewood? Naturally, you would be molested um, into lava, so you won't be far away. Very even, like, tops of trees. Good distance. Yeah. I wonder who put the drawing in the cave there. Oh, maybe it's a hint, because Eric knew that all the characters would run to a cave to find the scooby sacks. This is stupid. They put mammoths in the game. What? What is this? Especially in the prehistoric area. You figure a scientist would be smart enough to figure out that, you know, that's not right. I guess not. You could at least give him a dinosaur to ride. Something friendly. Like a uh, Brachiosaurus or something? Uh, something with speed, at least. Hmm. A mammoth walk. And thus we know what happened to Manfred and Ellie. <laughs> they burned. Like all I can see is smoke. And lava! Every movie has lava in it. Well, they should. Features. Sympathy. That's what this is. Oh. Let it burn. It's meant to die anyway. It's extinction. Yeah, but they didn't get too extinct by a volcano. They got extinct by a meteor. Says you. Says the books. And actually says the internet. Oh, wow. You believe it. <laughs> anyway, there's the virus. And we've got another marksman skill. I mean, as stupid as the virus is, he is a good marksman. He should be the Olympics. <laughs> Olympics? Why are you keep talking about sport for? He's left-handed. That's not going to do anything. The virus is left-handed. It's amazing. You know what I have done? I would take that spear and throw it back at him. <laughs> take it back. I'm oh, sure more ammunition for him to make sure he hits him. I know that, yeah, I guess it would give him it back. I would just prop um, what to do with it. Hello, you know it's all you fall, but I'm going to save you. Uh, typically, you should be eating him, but, you know, Scooby-Doo has the strength to move a big boulder. Why not? I mean, he's trying to save a baby for crying out loud, so... Why doesn't the mum do that, my question? Why don't he just go behind the pterodactyl? How ironic the Scooby Snacks have to be at this bloody nest. Yeah, this is the only level that actually gives you a time limit to get to the um, Scooby Snacks. Wow. And thus we get into montage, where they missed an opportunity to do levels, guys. Yeah, four. This four is four Hello Cyber Dream. Yeah, four. Great. Four. It's an underwater level in. I was saying. And we had to had imagine like the virus was in a submarine. That'd be funny. But no, he just presses a shark. Yeah, we get a Jaws reference. Yeah. <sighs> I wish we could see some of these levels. It's really a missed opportunity. Yeah. You want to see this? Tough. You want to see this? Giant big garden? Level 5. Tough. Where the gang are midgets and there's a giant insect after them. We could have the giant virus, maybe that'd be cool. The samurai level. Level, level 6 is for the evil samurai. Clearly. Yeah, that, we don't, you don't want to see that. Nah, skip that. Oh, that would be Of course, we have a macho moment here. <laughs> what is this movie in macho -ness? It doesn't work. Yeah, how are there no footprints? Uh, I feel like there's a lesson here. Oh, uh, men can't fight with swords, but females are better at combat or something. Yeah, of course there is. I wish they added that level. That would have been a good level, that seven, you know, the Egyptian one. And That'd be cool. More extended than the others. I wish that was a level, that was pretty cool. Yeah, in Egypt. There's the virus, he's gonna fall off something. Like, he, he always falls off things, doesn't he? Yeah, he's on the camera. Hey virus, you just got owned. Wow. 
Level 8, I believe it is now. Medieval time. Yeah, it's eight. He's all a dragon. It's Bruno! Um, yeah, that was... Yeah. Oh, no, it's Crime On! That's yeah. it, it's Crime On! Okay, sir. One slash Oh, man. He just away. gives up. See, see this one? Now I get the prize. Yeah. Food. <laughs> Not kiss. And they, they, they just teleport to there, or were they just walking there? Yeah. This should be level one. I mean, look how close the Scooby Snacks are to them. Well, maybe they just walked it to it. Maybe. But, yeah, there's level one. Once again, we make our villain look like a fool. So, we'll fight. Um, I'm wrong. Douche. Wow, this movie's gone by fast, hasn't it? Does it feel like 70 minutes? No, it feels like maybe 30 minutes. We're already at level 10. <laughs> wow. Correction, 40 minutes. <laughs> ah, the only level where it actually looks like they're in the correct area for them. And thus, level 10. This yeah. is meant to be uh, a reference to the original show. What's, uh, was it? Scooby Doo show? Yeah, I think so. That's no, it. Scooby Doo, where are you? That's the original show. Yeah, that's it. You ever bet your own game? What kind of game is that? I built a game, but I can't beat it. It's a hard game. Hey, let's see if that woman knows anything. It's your favorite line. Here your favorite line from the virus. I'll let you have the honors. Surprise! Oh. To the final level. You are You're in, in the major in leagues now! The virus can suddenly hide his light, basically. Yeah. Where are we going? And, and this happens. Can somebody help us? Yeah. Double gangers. Mm -hmm. Clones. And like, like you're me. And you're from the real world. Dinkies. Did I really wear that years ago? That outfit with that shirt? Hmm. They just get on perfect. Nice ascot. Works for me. Uh, the one time it made no sense. That makes sense, though. Dogs do sniff in their butts. Yeah, but the thing that makes no sense is Scooby never wore red. Yeah, color. that makes no sense because Scooby never wore a red collar and he was never that dark. I mean, as a that color palette. I, I wasn't going to mention the uh, fur color. Sorry. Okay. Well, Velma doesn't really change at all. No, but Velma, you got the most unnoticeable difference. But, well, this for is funny. So. And thus, we've learned a lesson. More food is the answer. No, yeah. it's not. Wait, hey, isn't that digital food? How can you... Never mind. Screw it. Screw it. Or maybe it's well, real food poured into the game. If this is all food, because if, uh, if Shaggy felt pain on the moon level, he has to feel food on this level, clearly. Wow. This yeah, game makes no sense. Nothing makes sense. There's a message here. I think there's a message here. Stealing food is good. Yeah, you never get caught. <laughs> Like, yeah, what are you afraid of? Phantom who? I don't know. I do have one plot hole. This is where stuff. we get the virus being very creepy, I must admit. you got to say that. He was creepy in this yeah. part. Nice <laughs> <laughs> and play. And this is music. You might as well say, oh. you might as well say here's Johnny or something. The Shining was out, out before this film, so why? 
Oh, they could have said that. That'd be cool. I think it's because the said here's John. I mean, all the virus did was wave, and that caused him to leave. Yeah. And I think. The, do you think the virus is underrated as a villain? I think he is. Because he's he's having so much fun. They're very popular villains, like um, the Black Knight, um, Old Iron Face, Creeper, Jaguar. Why are we talking about old villains for? This is a movie. You're not going to see those. Duh. Never. What about Minor 49 in there? That's an old villain. That's a good one. So they decided to team up and get the snacks. Yep. So apparently the gang, the, the cyber double gang, has never leave because they can't be asked to start the game all over again. Okay. Well, I'm pretty sure they have, they just didn't want to. Wait, okay. they have their own mind? They have to restart though when someone plays the game though, right? I know. I like that the um, Scooby Snacks are at the video arcade, but it's like a, this is the end of the game. You have to go at a game to get it. Then we get this. Literally the best reference I got from the Linksy series. And I was like, hmm, I think I know what's about to be said here, because I've seen a baseballer, Ace about to compliment him. Yeah, I see what's going on. And you were so happy, weren't you? I was so happy that <laughs> day. Great swing! You want my autograph? It's funny, because that's your worst favourite line from the virus, isn't it? Yeah. And, and the virus is play ball again. Yeah. So the virus just appeared at a batting cage. He likes playing baseball a lot, doesn't he? Yeah. That's not a thing. Oh my god. Oh, the creeper's here. That was shocking. It's the creeper. And he's got a pet. That's a terrifying pet. That... That's a terrifying pet. It's larger than creeper. Yeah. That's this Jaguar if you didn't hear the movie. And that Gator Ghoul and the Tar Monster? The Skater Ghoul? I like the, the iconic ones. Yeah. They change their villains well. And now we got, well. Old Iron Face! I think they did well choosing their monsters for this movie for their final hurrah. Yeah. It was well chosen. I would have wanted to see Minor 49 or maybe, but... <laughs> That's your own fault for telling him stuff. The virus, you are so creepy at times. How right you are. Really? Will you stop, please? So all the monsters are closing in, and then this weird thing happens. I'm like, you know what's coming up. This. Wait a minute. All these monsters were really people in costumes, basically, huh? They were all fakes. But they're in a game and... I don't... Let's go. Velma's meant to be the smart one. How, how does she get this in her head? But it's a game. Yeah, I mean... Whatever. They try to pull the head off. And... He's real! Oh, really? Do you think trying to wipe some dust of him will help? I mean, Velma should know that, I feel like. I feel like that's something Velma should know that they're real. Yeah. But no, how are you... <laughs> then they just run into him. Yeah. Poor oh, virus. Don't you feel sorry at times? What? Get them! Don't you feel sorry for virus at times? Yeah. And now it's time wacky hijinks. <laughs> so the match is up. The time monster goes after the shaggies. Was that a good choice? Uh, I'm not really sure. I think it's more like the last choice. Because yeah, well, 
All the other ones fit in well with the other. I guess it's okay because they're both they're all they're all dumb. Yeah. The Daphne's got the creeper because you know he's an ugly man. That's kind of offensive. Yeah. Why would they want to hide in a creepy haunted house? It makes no sense. Yeah, they're following each other. Wow. As one does. Yeah. Oh no. I was just thinking this, but what if the virus was trying to do a trick was in a house of trick mirrors? That would be creepy. Yeah. And then of course the creeper shows up to give him the old creeper. I wonder if the creep and the Hulk met. That would be an interesting theory. Uh, Hulk would destroy the creeper. Mm, probably. I never said he wanted to fight him, though, did I? Mm. And then they just blow him to the ground. Uh, the power, of <laughs> power rejection. Wow. This movie is going by super duper quick. We're already at the monster stuff, aren't we? Yeah. Does it feel like 70 minutes? No, it doesn't. You gotta check the makeup, then. Yeah. yeah. I, I bet she feels silly about her past self now, doesn't she? Yeah. This is another silly thing we talked about. Like, they, they would survive jumping off a roller coaster. And I was like, why don't you just climb down the rails? Let's learn. That's what I would do. That's alone I'm really high at the top of the roller coaster. I guess because of the I guess because they're moving, that's why you can't climb down the rails. Yeah, and also I see what I was talking about about you can't really jump into the ocean because it's a roller coaster in the way. Yes, because what are the odds of jumping on that thing? What are the odds? I don't know. Uh, I don't know. One in five. Apparently, they think. Wow, really? Two in ten. And of course the virus, not the virus, the, of course Jader Ghoul survived a big toss. But, but if you listen, you can hear where he landed. I think he gets hit like two or three times. One, And, and listen to where he Listen to where he landed. Blah. Very funny. I like how they stop this one. I like how they stop Iron Face. Yeah. It's very funny because it makes sense from Velma and uh, it's very creative. Which Velma? Old Iron Face! Dinkies! Bump. Jesus. I'm sure he's fine. Yeah, the, um, their matchup made sense because Pirates is like a historical thing. That made sense. For their matchup, the Fred's got Gator Ghoul. Uh, that was okay. Oh, that was hardening. And then by process of elimination, Scooby has Jaguar. Yeah, makes sense. Uh, he's strong. Yeah. Only in, uh... your best matchup of all, Jaguar with the Scoobies. Yeah. Cat versus dog. Dog Ocean mm. Of course. I love how ironic it is that... Now, what, there's something I wanted to notice. If you keep keep watching the Scoobies and you'll see them move from there to that little switch in the corner there. You'll see them pop up right near that switch. You don't see them actually run out of it though. No, wait for it. It's gonna wait for it. There it is. There, there they are. There. No, there's something there actually on the next frame. Right there. Wow. And then you just... Wow, poor Jaguar. Anyone for milk? <laughs> and then somehow the gator ghoul survives. Well, if he landed in water, it'd be fine. Run. Why don't they just run away? Instead of facing him. Well, though, Shaggy's coming in for the rugby tackle. Well, because we have to have that ironic timing, don't we? Yeah. 
Yeah. And boy, is he mad. More running away. Wow, there's a lot of running. <laughs> yeah, Daphne's are now in the salon, which makes saloon. It's called saloon if it's a western, not the salon is a beauty place. The saloon is a... whatever. Yeah, but it does kind of make sense. If it was a salon, then, um, yeah. But saloon... So, first of all, you've got to blow the creeper to death, even though... I, I thought this is pointless because they don't really get hurt by anything. I they just feel... Yeah, I also made the point that now the creeper just lost all feet in his body by just flopping over. Mm. I feel like the Iron Face gets the worst done to him. He's so humiliated by this. Yeah. He gets kicked by a baby goat and lands in eggs. No, it's not a baby goat. It's a mama goat. Wow. Good thing for the child. How do you like your eggs? Fried? I, I like mine scrambles. Uh. Then, of course, we get Gator Ghouls. Oh, I thought, I thought the bumper car for Gator Ghouls was red, not blue. A bumper car's cool. I can imagine they are. Yeah, and also, what's the chances that actually hits him? Damn. And, of course, it's easy to take care of... Uh, it's easy to take care of the uh, old tire for base over there, isn't it? Yeah. Popcorn? Nah. This is cotton candy. Both shaggies are so greedy. They're like, hey, you're having a cotton candy? I'll take it off you. Uh, well, that's just of course one shaggy's nice and the other. And, well, and also a bit clumsy with the cotton candy. Then they just shove them into the cotton candy machine. Yeah. Drinks on the house. Mm -hmm. And thus it became a big blob of cotton candy. The They're cotton... cannibal! Oh. The cotton candy monster from um, Scooby-Doo Monsters Unleashed. Wow. How would that be intimidating? I don't know. I love Scooby and Shaggy's reaction. Well, they had a Scooby Snack monster in What's Who Scooby-Doo, so I guess that makes sense either. So did... Hold on. They ate... Hold on. Sorry, spoiler alert for Monsters Unleashed. But they ate the cotton candy monster, but they didn't eat the Scooby Snacks monster. Wow. What? <laughs> there goes Jaguar Earl. No, no, that's just a log. Wait for it. Wait. There he goes. Bro. Come on, dude. Oh, You're a bloody monster. You're a bloody ape, too. You can just jump off. Also, both wow. Scooby's have... Both the Scoops have red collars briefly. And uh, we're now at the final bit. So, uh, does it feel like 70 minutes? Hmm. Oh, the final fight needs to be minutes. So maybe 60? I feel like we've been an hour in already. It's only at this very moment, you know. No, we're nearly an hour in. Oh, face. Oh, really? Wow. You've got the magnet in the entire time. Mm -hmm. I figured he would know about it on the Colosseum when he's rolling around. Yeah. He also landed on himself with the moon level as well. Wow. And because uh, they're made of the same magnetic energy, it makes yeah. sense. How did the magnet not affect the um, level? The monsters. They could use it on the monsters. Yeah, it can. But they took it inside, so the gang, the cyber gang, didn't have it. And if the cyber gang used it, they would be able to move themselves. Mm -hmm. Yeah, by himself. Don't worry, he could take care of himself. Oh, the thing is, the virus only does the technology thing until the very end. Yeah, when he starts. Wow. It's a decent video arcade, I've seen better ones. Yeah. Very uh, 90s. I don't understand why, uh, well, this is, this was in 2001 it was released, so. I don't oh, please, why. it's not going to be that easy. Let's get scared so, of okay. Yep. 
hear him, but I don't see him. And then he's gonna like, explode the machine. Why is that one arcade machine by itself, though? And why is there a game called Scooby Doo and the Cyber Chase when the game is Scooby Doo and the Cyber? Whatever. Oh wow. Hey, you're you're playing the game. Would you like to play the game while playing the game? Anyway, yeah. magnet time. I mean, come, Adam, if you would have more courage than that, wouldn't you? Oh, uh, I still think it's a light show. I'll probably still be at the lamp. Oh, it's the magnet to me. <laughs> well, Fred's got courage. Yeah, to just impress staff, you know. Now, they had, as much as this is awesome, they had to get rid of the magnet to make this tense and suspension. Yeah. Because they all wanted the game would be over right now. Yeah. So they had to get rid of it. I'm sorry, Fred, but the, the script says so. Oh, and there goes the magnet. Tough break. And then this. Oh, wow. I am a super sailor! This is in my final form. Yes, running away helps. Aww. Oh, you're so close. Then this happens. If you thought my hitting was good, wait till you see my... See my pitching! It's almost you're trying to tell us something, Virus, but I can't gather what you're trying to say. It has to be Eric. It just has to. I'm sorry, what are you doing? It has to be Eric that's the main bad guy. But you just said earlier that the fr he's a good friend. And... Yeah, but it doesn't mean Eric's not a suspect. And then we get another chase, because running is always good for exercise. What was this chase ever? Uh, well, what a douche. He just left his friends to be chased by the monsters. <laughs> Don't worry, I'll be fine. <laughs> hmm. Cyber Scooby? We need some wire cutters. Hmm. If only we had them in Cyberland. Idea! Wanna help Cyber Scooby? Distraction decoy. I'm surprised that the Cyber Scooby is so brave while the other one is not. Yeah, I just don't understand how he managed to get from one side of the arcade to the other without the virus noticing. I mean, yeah, how is Cyber Scooby so brave when he's never been. Did Eric screw it up on the personality? Yes, yes, he did. Down to your final out! I don't get what you're trying to tell us, movie. Maybe at strike three. That's Cyber Scooby and that old Scoob going for the sacks. Thanks. Meddling King. <laughs> and there he goes, grabbing the machines. Coiled up. I mean, it's too late. For you, anyway, Virus. The look on his face. Look on his face. He got beaten by a dog. <laughs> you feel bad for the virus now? Yeah. Our favorite villain, or mine anyway, is John. Thank you, movie. My favorite, my favorite has just been beaten three times, so. There we go. Our favorite, well, my favorite script movie villain has been vaporized. Your favorite has been beaten, <laughs> my favorite has been beaten three times. Wow. Goodbye. Uh, we'll never see you again. Technically twice for Loch Ness Monster, but still. <laughs> Will the hmm. level reset itself? Right. Looks of... like you're leaving. I'm surprised. Look at the timer. We finished at 1600. That's like an alien hour. It was. It didn't feel like that, doesn't it? This movie went by so fast. It yeah. didn't feel like an hour. Yeah. Honestly, maybe wow. maybe 40 minutes. It feels like. Goodbye! Thanks for all the help! Thanks for nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for ruining our level. Now we're stuck here permanently, I guess. 
How did they not restart their level then? Because they I said don't know. they restart as well. Now, guys, if you haven't been paying attention, it's time to wrap up this mystery. Oh, yeah, gee, um, they had to figure out who created the virus. Oh, uh, boy. When Adam was seven, he assumed it was the officer. Any final guesses, Lucas? Uh, he punished. Good ideas, Professor, because you're a good suspect as well. Me? But I have the scientist. And you're basically looking, ripping off, um, you know, uh, what is that famous scientist? Einstein. Yeah. Oh, it's not him because of the shadow, you fools. We know it's not him. I have never committed a crime in my life. That was to make suspicion from important clues. Shouted play ball. There were chalk lines like a large diamond. Our biggest clue was on the final level. Yes, walk away. The batting cage. That thing four? Oh. Baseball. Oh, really? Wait. Worst what? mystery what was, ever. Why was the exit door locked? To, to keep the suspects in. Strike out game. Really? That easy? Who, who's so okay. I'm my first student. <laughs> oh crap. Students are all equal there. And it worked. So you guys showed up. But you bend us into cyberspace. If it wasn't for us meddling kids. Uh. Third shot. <laughs> Third shot. Just focus. Well, we're about to wrap up here. That was super quick, wasn't it? Mm. It wasn't fun at all. You've been chased by monsters. Yeah, technically they didn't even go back in time. They just went to a different world. Ten times. I wouldn't want to play that game at all. No, I'm done. Screw that. It wouldn't matter, Shaggy. There are still the other monsters, too. Yeah. I guess this is an irony because Shaggy wants to beat something up instead of being running away from it. Yeah. <sighs> Hacking and Scooby snacking. And Scooby snacking. Scooby Doo! That is the last Hanna Barbera movie. Goodbye, Hanna Barbera Scooby Doo. I'm I'll pause cool. it there. All right, there we are, guys. We have successfully watched another uh, when Scooby Doo and the Cyber Chase. Well, Adam, wasn't that fun? It was really fun, actually. It was very fast. I wonder what's going to be the next Scooby-Doo movie we do. It on. Oh, I've got another idea for another movie we could do, actually. And I haven't even told you about what the next movie is on our commentary list. And no. I should hear it? Yeah, I want to hear it. Let everyone else hear it as well. Our next commentary will be Astro Boy! Yeah, I need to get that film now. You don't need to. It's actually on YouTube. There's a, I'll send you a link to it. Okay. So you should be able to access it because if, if I'm able to access it in the UK, you, you, since you're in the UK, you, UK as well, you should be able to access it. It should be pretty easy now. Okay. Yeah. So yeah, that's our next movie, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed the commentary. I'm also going to be um, probably doing another version of this commentary as well with... A, the uh, basic picture of it. Maybe um, we'll have a picture of the virus's face. It's smiling <laughs> or something for a cover for an audio version. 
And there's also going to be a review of this movie where we do spoilers as well. So we'll give our overall thoughts, which means we'll be watching this movie again on our own time. So that'll be fun, won't it, Adam? Just for oh, yeah. noting. Of- yes, again, another time we're watching this movie. But yeah, looking yeah, forward. It's a good way to wrap it up. And uh, we can move on to uh, our next movie after that, which will be Astro Boy. But we'll see you guys next time for the uh, co- for the review of Scooby Doo and the Cyber Chase. Uh, when do you think we should do that? When do you think it'll be up? Do you think? Oh, I'm not sure. Um, hmm, I don't know. We will. I'm not sure. It's ah oh, crap. I'm really bad at this. I would say maybe it's next fine. week, sometime next week. In the next week, yeah. We'll probably give you more details as we progress as other videos go. If more details come up, you'll know. And but yeah, we'll see you next time where we make none of it than the Scooby Doo and the Cyber Chase review. We give our uh, detailed analysis on the film and all that, so that'd be awesome. I hope you guys enjoyed this commentary. And if you want to go back and rewatch it, more power to you. Scooby Doo and the Cyber Chase, it's a really great movie, very underrated, and it's always going to be a special place in our both our hearts. So yeah, even if it felt quick, ironic. One Rotten Tomatoes is Loch Ness Monster. Yeah. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. From me and Adam, next time it's Astro Boy. Adam, you say peace first? Peace. Me as well. See you next time. Peace. And now it's time to stop this broadcast.